How's it going everyone? It's Ethan here with eTrailer. Today we're going to be taking a look and showing you how to install these Titan Chain snow tire chains with cams on our 2022 GMC Sierra. Our tire size here is 265 70 17. There are a couple of different sizes so just make sure that you have the right chains for your tire. What sets these chains apart are both these V-bar patterns on the links and the cam tighteners. These V-bars are gonna do a great job of biting in into deep snow and ice, as well as the ladder style pattern is gonna be great for starting and stopping in icy conditions as well. It's gonna be a little bit of a bumpier ride, but if you're using these aggressive chains, the bumpiness is probably not something that you're gonna be super concerned with. And again, the links themselves have a twisted link construction, which is gonna be good as well for biting into snow and ice. They are also made of a low carbon steel, which usually is not great because it doesn't give you as much corrosion, rust, and weather resistance as, say, an alloy. But in this case, with these bars, having a low carbon steel is gonna give them a little bit more flex. They're not gonna be as brittle because they are snapping points if it does get that cold. As I mentioned, it does have four cams attached to the chains themselves using this tool here. Once you get the chains on, you just use this to tighten them, and that's just a great way to get all of the tension that you need to into your chains. Now the chains do come two in a bag. The bag is a pretty honestly low quality sort of canvas material. With chains like these, as you can see in the back, honestly they're actually already starting to rip through because they do have those V-bars on there and they're pretty heavy duty. So if you were to get these chains, we definitely recommend getting some sort of plastic tote to keep the chains safe and to keep the weather out as well. But all things considered, these are pretty aggressive chains. You're going to be using these in very inclement conditions, ice, deep snow, things like that. So if that is what you're looking for, these definitely are the chains for you. But in our case, I think that they are a good fit on our 2022 GMC Sierra. And we can go ahead and show you how we installed them. So to start the install, the first thing you're going to want to do is lay your chains out flat making sure that the cams are facing you because you will have to tighten those later. Additionally, you want to make sure that these hoop chains at the end of the chains are have the flat side facing down. That's the side that's going to make contact with your tire. You don't want these pointy bits on the actual surface of your tire. Trying to make sure that the chains are as centered as possible just to make things easier at the end. Go ahead and grab the center here and start to drape the chains over the tire. Try to space things out as evenly as you can. And then we'll go ahead and make our first connection in the back. Connection in the back is pretty straightforward. I'm gonna probably try to go with this second link here just to try to get some tension out in the front, but we can always come back and adjust that later if we need to. Now that we have our connection in the back taken care of, I'm gonna slide this through any, probably the third link here, just in our case. We kinda of want it to be middle of the road tight. We don't want it to be too tight so we can't get our cams tightened, but we don't want it to be to be too loose that the cams don't work. Now coming to the cams, they provide this lever tool. We can go ahead and just start rotating these clockwise until we get the tension where we want it to be. In our case, even with all four cams tightened, we weren't exactly as tight as I would like, so I just went into the back and made a connection to a further link in the back. And that is something that you might have to do, so we always recommend just trying these out in your garage first. But anyway, with ladder style pattern chains, even with the cams, we do recommend grabbing one of these rubber tensioners as well, just because as you're driving, things do tend to shift and move a little bit, and this will help keep your chains tight even while you're driving. So you just apply this in a cross pattern just kind of like you would to take your tires on and off just to get a little bit of extra tension and like I said while you're moving and bumping along things tend to shift a little bit and then that's pretty much it go ahead and install them on the passenger side as well roll forward and backwards just a couple times to make sure that everything is where you want it to be then you're ready to hit the road